This training applies to all personnel working aboard Crowley vessels that have approved vessel security plans. The Vessel Security Officer, or VSO, is responsible for the security of the vessel and reports security issues to the Company Security Officer, or CSO. The VSO is almost always the master of the vessel. When not the master, it will be the senior trained and qualified mate. The vessel security officer is required to complete an approved VSO training course and have their standards for training, certification, and watchkeeping for seafarers, or STCW certificate, endorsed for vessel security officer. Under no circumstances may a tug get underway without a qualified VSO on board, unless, of course, vessel safety is in doubt. If the only qualified VSO is injured or sick, the vessel shall secure operations and place the tug in a safe condition. The captain should contact the company security officer through the chain of command and arrange for a replacement as soon as possible. Depending on the tug location and operations, the U.S. Coast Guard may need to be informed by the company security officer and additional security measures taken. The VSO is responsible for keeping the vessel's security plan up to date. The plan should be kept on board with all classified information concerning security. Vessel security plans may either be stored in a three-ring binder that can be locked away or managed electronically on the password-protected jump drive provided to some vessels. Specific instructions on how to fill in the security logs are part of the plan and the VSO needs to follow them closely. The mooring location of the vessel initially determines the level of security and signage requirements. If the vessel is moored in a secured and guarded area, such as an oil terminal or Crowley facility, many of the required signs will already be in place. These usually include marine security or MARSEC level and restricted access signs, but not always the permission to search signs. Exclusion area signs should also be posted on all access points to or on the tug. Ensure that if a door is latched open, that the sign can still be seen. Whether you're at an open dock, pushed up on a beach, or at a public access, you need to be sure that all the signs are present. The document of security will determine whether there is a docking area guard or gangway watch. If the dock agrees it is supplying a guard, they must take responsibility to check transportation worker identification credentials, or TWIC cards. These cards help verify only authorized personnel are allowed into the docking area. In this circumstance, the gangway watch may not be required. But this is not likely in most places our tugs moor. A 24-hour watch must be maintained whenever the vessel is manned whether underway or moored. This includes security patrols and monitoring the access points to the main weather deck. Circumstances and orders will determine how closely you guard the gangway and mooring side of the tug to intercept those coming aboard. Many security checks also require searches. Security searches are required when manning the vessel and they are performed following outside maintenance and prior to getting underway. Search procedures are covered in a separate set of DVDs available for checkout from the company security officer. Securing hatches from the inside is recommended when the hatches are not in use to restrict access points, especially the engine room escape hatch. Breakable seals make this easy and effective. Safety remains the number one concern. So everyone should be sure escape routes are maintained at all times. Ultimately, this is the master's responsibility, but due care should always be taken when securing emergency access scuttles, especially the engine room escape hatch. Personnel accessing the vessel must be checked. 
For unescorted access, people must have both a transportation worker identification credentials card and permission to be unescorted. Crowley employees with a TWIC card and reason to be on board are always allowed unescorted access. They may also escort personnel who are without a TWIC. Vendors with a TWIC, a current Crowley vendor authorization, and a job on the vessel are allowed unescorted access.